Yo, Vaisant here. So in this video, we're going to talk about getting Octopath Traveler Champions of the Continent to be played on the emulator. So I've been doing this all day. I tried Nox, Blue Stacks, and I talked with a lot of people, did some research. So the best definite one is to use LD Player 9. I will put a link down in the description, I guess. And um, what you want is once you get LD Player, you're going to go to the Play Store. You're going to get the game right but you also want to get google chrome and this is only for if you want to transfer data um so you want to make sure you get google chrome as well i made a completely new instance on this just so um i could just start from scratch and show you guys from scratch and so the way that it works is that when you go transfer data i'll show you this later but i'll explain it now when you go transfer data it's gonna open the browser but it's gonna crash but if you have Chrome, it will open Chrome and it'll work. So um, I'll see you guys later when I'm done downloading all this. <laughs> all right, we're back. So I have Octopath Traveler and Chrome on my LD9 player, right? LD player nine, <laughs> my bad. And you always want to do this when you load the game. So just follow here. Um, you're going to do this multiple times every time you load in. You click settings, you're going to go to network. You're going to dis disconnect the network. Save setting. You can do this before you open the game, just to make things simple for you, right? So during at this point, they actually check if you're on an emulator, and apparently they check via the internet or something. So if you actually disconnect this, um, oh, this is a this is brand new, brand new one. So that's not supposed to happen. I mean, that will happen on the first time you load up the game, but that's not the check. So you pretty much wait until it pops up saying that yo, it can connect to the internet, right? And at this point. You're gonna go back in the setting and re-enable your internet. So now it loads up the game. Right? And then let's just say you wanna transfer. You have to click transfer data here. Um, if you wanna go through the regular game stuff, you can just tap start, right? You click yes, everything. It should work, right? But since I am not doing this I'm gonna transfer right so I'm gonna restart this actually and then do this again that's only if you're starting from scratch if you're not starting from scratch like I've been re-rolling all stream last night and I finally got a decent account and I do want to transfer this into my emulator and that's where Google Chrome comes in so we're doing this again this I'll do it again just to show you guys Seeing it twice will probably be even more helpful than just seeing it once. Alright, we do this again. Network. Settings. It does reconnect. Okay. And if you do have an account here, you may want to just delete it when you go to options. Like, create a new account. You probably don't want that. Just delete it. They did fix the delete button, I believe. So, that's done. So we start the game. Or we go back to title screen. Now we're gonna go transfer the data, right? It will open instead of opening the browser, which will cause it to crash. Open Chrome, and I haven't even opened Chrome yet, so uh, be right back. All right, so technically you're supposed to open this here if you open Chrome before. If not, you know, you plug in all your information things. So I pretty much you need a Square Enix account, and I do have mine linked to my Google account, so I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna click it there. All right, and then we get to this point, right? And then you proceed with transfer. Close it. And usually you can just go back into the game and click it like it's a new game. If it doesn't work, you probably have to do it again. Uh, just delete the account and then do the transfer again. So this should technically work. And you should be into the game with my data. So I have Lynette, Viola, Sophia, and Fior. Um, so my Sophia and Viola is 4.5 though, not 5 stars, but I have Fiora and Lynette. And you, you see that account here. I'm just gonna download everything. So if you do have any issues of finding the game, I would reinstall LD, 9, LD Player 9. Because I did have an issue where it didn't show up in my Play Store. And I maybe thought it was like 32-bit for some reason. I would just reinstall LD Player 9 just to make things easier. Because I even tried 
getting it through an APK and it was incompatible. And it did have some issues, but just to be on the safe side, just reinstall it. Alright, we're almost done downloading. And hopefully we get in. If not, we'll, I will go transfer data again. You may or may not have to do it a few times if it didn't show up the first time. Um, the nice way to check for transferring data is actually if you go on your phone or whatever you on your old device, you check the ID and if it matches the options, then you're pretty much set. So let's let's see um, if this works first. But most likely it should work. Hopefully, first try, right? First try. Right. It's loading. I should be in the random icy forest, I think, or icy dungeon. Loading up everything. Come on, come on. It didn't open to the opening scene, right? So I think it should be good. And there we are! I'm playing now. You see my mouse. <laughs> I just killed an elite monster here. So hopefully this guy, this helps you out. If you have any questions, free to free post or come by the stream. Uh, I'll try my best to answer, I guess. But yeah, with that, later days.